Hello, everybody. It's Marilyn. Uh, just a few things, I guess, today. Let's see, on the 27th of January, I'm lost here with dates, so I have to look, sorry. I went to Paul Mitchell School. They have like a school to teach you like cosmetology and hair and me, whatever else. I don't know. And I went dressed up, for those who don't know. So that was kind of interesting. I didn't make like a short video before I left, but I'll have to find where I put it. Anyway, so whenever I find that, I'll put it up. It's not very long. So I'll probably combine it with something else. And then, let's see. On the third, as some know, I dressed up during part of a hangout, a group hangout, I should specify, with uh, Cy Williams. Hi, Cy! Anyway, so it was kind of interesting because usually I don't dress up during hangouts because, well, usually I'm not dressed like this. And if you're wondering, is it in a men's shirt? It's the blouse. It's the only blouse I own. Kind of looks like a man's shirt, but it's not. And then, of course, when you get to the bottom, obviously, big. If I can tilt it right, you can tell that it's a uh, skirt. Yeah. And I'm not wearing any heels today. Don't even have nail polish on. Sorry, guys. Or girls. Or whoever. Oh. <sighs> And I know, so I was asking, first time I cross-dressed wasn't really, uh, wasn't like I had a plan or, you know, I don't know, whatever. I was just by myself in my parents' house, very rare occasion, when I was younger. We were like 12-ish, 13-ish, maybe even before that, I don't know for sure, to be honest with you. And, uh, I don't know, I just wanted to put on my mom's dress. Don't ask me why. Because I'm not sure. So I did. I borrowed like my sister's bra and panties and somebody's pantyhose. And, well, I cross-dressed for the first time. <laughs> yes, people. Not long ago. Well, I don't know. It was something I liked, but I realized that my dad would probably kill me over it or beat me severely if you're not over that. And I knew my mom wouldn't approve. Surprise, surprise. When I finally came out to my mother, she said I was mentally ill in the center. So, yeah, I went over. And my sister also thinks it's a sin, so, yeah. Not a whole lot of family approval. We'll just leave it at that. And let's see. Oh, well, I was asking me a little bit. My parents got divorced when I was like 12 ish, 13 ish. Somewhere in that neighborhood. You know, older? Me. I was in junior high. Anyway. So that was a big change in my life. Uh, my mom, of course, lives here in Utah with me, for those that don't know. Currently, she's not here, if you're wondering why I'm dressed up. Um, my dad lives in Idaho, a little place called Emmett. It's kind of sort of close to Boise if you're used to where Boise is. We're, we here, me and my mom, are pretty much in Salt Lake. We're in the suburb, but you know, whatever. Close enough. My sister also is in the suburb of Salt Lake, so. And also for Cy, yes, I have two boys. Uh, I think I told you. Oldest is, let's see, be 11 in July. And youngest will be 5 on the 8th of this month, which is only a few days away. Hard to believe he's already almost five. Be going to kindergarten next year. Because if you're wondering, like, he was too young to go last year because he wasn't quite five yet. There's this, like, weird rule. Duh. Don't ask me. So, that'll happen. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, uh -oh. It's kind of hard to do a documentary about yourself. I never know what to say. I get asked a lot of questions, and that's the only reason I kind of started this. But uh, obviously, if you have cross-dressing related questions, they're always welcome. Just trying to be polite, you know. 
some people just are a little bit like, what did you just say? But yeah, whatever, it kind of goes with the territory, unfortunately. Hmm. And uh, depending on how much response I get, I may potentially do a cross-dressing version of Jeopardy. I would be the one cross-dressing, obviously. Uh, if I can get some t contestants, which may or may not happen, we'll have a video chat, like Hangouts or something on Facebook, maybe. And I'll ask random stuff, and, you know, like Jeopardy, you know. And uh, that might be fun if it all works out. The problem is trying to actually get somebody that wants to participate, number one. Trying to schedule it, number two. And then, if I get that far, I'll have to think of some stuff. Because obviously you need questions and answers and all that good stuff. So you can play the game. Eh, and of course there'd be no actual prizes, because, well, I don't have money growing in my front yard, people, if you're not sure. So sorry. And if you participate, the only prize will be fun, or at least potential fun. So, whatever. And uh, let's see. I don't know. I'm still looking for work. Not that I don't like you all. But it just isn't cutting the bills. After child support, it's about $400 a month, people. Yeah. Ouch. That's hard to live on, despite what uh, you all says. If I wasn't living on my at my mom's house, I wouldn't have a chance. So yeah, yeah, Michigan. And uh, for those that don't know, the state of Michigan says that uh, child support is half. Yes, people, half of your gross, gross, not net, but gross income. And I'd like to take some senators and be like, hey, I'm going to take half your gross income. See how you survive. See how they liked it. I can guarantee they would not be happy. Nope, 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 nope. But, anyway, whatever. Uh, I'll paint my toenails, I guess. My fingernails aren't painted anymore. I painted them temporarily for the pink for Leah, Leela. I'm probably not saying their name right. Uh, it was a while ago, I think I should have helped a few pictures. I don't forget. It gets a little fuzzy. Well, I know I like showed photos. I don't know if I did any video on it, but me, whatever. Uh, well, I don't know. It's hard to think of things. Um, for those that may or may not be interested, because, well, whatever. It's a documentary. Or at least, an attempt at a documentary, let's be honest. Uh, how good it is is a little iffy, but why not do a documentary about yourself, roughly? Anyway, uh, for those that are curious, I grew up in Idaho. The town I mostly remember is Orofino, so you may occasionally see references to Orofino or the surrounding area. If you don't know where it is, look it up. It does really exist. Mm. Of course, I went to school. I was bullied and teased and harassed a lot because, uh, for those that don't know, I do have cerebral palsy. It's mild. So, sometimes, I guess at least according to some, I don't talk as clear as maybe I should. And uh, a lot of people give me a bad time about my speech pattern or whatever, but... Sorry, folks. This is as good as you're going to get. You know, it's nothing I have control over. Sorry. And, uh, of course, most know I think that I'm red-green colorblind. And what else? Mm -hmm. Well, also in the town I grew up in, there was a psychiatry, psychiatric... Whew, it's a hard word for me, people. Hospital or mental hospital is what I call it sometimes. And a women's prison. Both oh, about maybe the prison was the closest within about maybe a hundred or so yards of the high school. 
And uh, mental asylum was maybe like 200 or so yards, give or take -ish. So, you know, pretty much a short walk. Either. Not anything severe. So, that was kind of interesting. What else? No. Uh, for those who are interested, yes, I was married. Twice. To the same woman. Mm, she still lives in Michigan, if you're curious. I won't say where, because I don't know. People are weird. Eh, uh, maybe. Maybe, whatever. And, uh, let's see. She has a boyfriend. She, of course, has... Gets weird on children. The two children she had with me. Woo! There we go, I think. And then she has a daughter that she had with him. Woo! Yeah. So she has a total of three kids, but only two are for me, if that makes sense. And, um. Hopefully I'll move back to Michigan eventually just because I'd like to be with my kids. Even if I don't talk about them much. I don't talk about them much because it depresses me and, and uh, depression is not good for me. I'll just put it that way. Although, I don't think it's good for anyone. Let's be honest. So, if you're wondering why I don't talk about my children much, that's why. It's not because I'm ashamed or anything. Well, I don't know. Me a little ashamed of being a cross-dressing dad. Me, me. But I am, so trying to get used to that. Eh, whatever. Sorry, people, I haven't been out of the cross dressing closet that long, relatively. It's only been a little over a year. I still have a lot to get used to. You may have to bear with me. Thanks. So, and what else? Um, um, let's see, if you're curious. My interview today was with Verizon. Answering phone has done that a lot. Hello, and thank you for calling Verizon. My name is Jason. That's my legal name, if you're wondering. How am I help you today? And then they're like, yeah, whatever. My phone's broke! Or, uh, whatever. My bill is slightly higher than the national debt! You're like, oh, I'm sorry your bill is high. Or I'm sorry your phone is broke. Or, you know, whatever. It's, my phone is possessed by Jesus. Well, uh, we have a special department for that, sir. So, you know, just all sorts of stuff. And you and some of the calls you get are just out there. It's like, you need some medication. Thank you. Some are, you know, pretty average. You know, my bill's too high. I broke my phone. My daughter flushed it down the toilet. Whatever, you know. It's like, oops. <laughs> well, I guess that's another thing I can talk about. Uh, for those that are curious about my employment history, uh, most of my life has been in what's called call centers. It's just basically usually a fairly big building. Lots of cubicles, headsets similar to this, and you answer calls all day, you know, for whatever com company, you know. Hello and thank you for calling Prime Star. Hello and thank you for calling Dell. Hello and thank you for calling HP. Hello and thank you for calling insert name of business here. So I did that a lot. I uh, also did uh, a lot of labor jobs. Mostly temporary work. A lot of really cruddy work. I worked at a few newspapers. I worked for the Idaho Press Tribune in Nampa. If anybody's from Nampa, Idaho. I don't know if it's still there, but it used to be if it isn't. If it's still there, I used to work there. In the circulation department. Uh, minimum wage. Hard, dirty work. I'm not really anything that exciting, but I got used to it, and it was actually not a bad job. Um, also did some security work in Michigan. For Burns at first. Name of the company, if you're wondering. And then, let's see. 
They kept changing names. Pinkerton, and then I think Pinkerton got bought out by somebody else. No, oh, my word. Uh, so I did that. Um, worked at Home Depot, helping people load and unload stuff. Well, load stuff, let's face it. Um, worked at Walmart, stocking shelves. Nothing real fancy. I think that's most of my work history, if you're curious. As far as places I've lived, several in Idaho, because of course that's where I grew up mostly. Um, well, basically Salt Lake area, like, excuse me, suburbs and stuff. Uh, Wayne, Michigan, Michigan, if I can talk. And... Owasa, Michigan, if you really want to know. Hmm. So that's... And if you're curious about all the places not know, I could try and list them, but it'd be quite the list, because I moved around a lot. And, I don't know. I guess I've yeah, rattled on long enough today, maybe. It's all just some basic information about me. I don't know if anybody wants to know it, but if you did, well, now you do. If you didn't, well, I'm sorry. <sighs> it's another cross-dressing Thursday. There we go. Two thumbs up. And let's see. On Saturday, I'll be, excuse me, <coughs> pumping propane again. That's pretty much what I do on Saturday. Other than trucks, trailers. Fun stuff. Mm. Let's see. So, try and have a good weekend, obviously. I'll be working hard, or hardly working. <laughs> uh, yeah. I did finally get my taxes filed. So I'll make the state of Michigan happy. They'll take my federal return, possibly my state. I'd be curious. Me, eh, whatever. And uh -huh. I think that's all for today. Again, any of the uh, thing you want to know within reason, folks. Some of the questions I get are just like out there. But um, as long as they ch you attempt keyword attempt people to be polite uh, cross-dressing questions are always welcomed or questions about my life within reason some may have lengthy answers and complicated answers and you may be feeling like you're watching days of your li our lives or something you know like sands through the hourglass so are the days of our lives but I uh, honestly I wouldn't make this stuff up there. I just wouldn't trust me so even if it sounds like a soap opera script, it really isn't. It's my life. Uh, so anyway, I'll have to try and figure out what to do the rest of the day. This is Marilyn saying goodbye for today. I hope you have a good day and a good weekend. And talk to you hopefully next Thursday if all goes well. Bye.